This is the gagster. Come with me as I visit our gags up in Connecticut and see how these lures go from an idea to manufacturing. How it started, um, I was actually sitting on uh, uh, Musquamica Beach with, uh, with my better half, Marie, and uh, we were staying at the Pleasant View down there. So we were right behind the place on the beach sitting there, and, and I'm watching, I think they were butterfish at the time, coming back and forth and back and forth, but nothing pushing them. And uh, so a big wave came in and pushed some fish up on the beach. And I picked one up and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, wow, you know, you got to really mimic the shapes and stuff like that. So I had a, a yellow sketch pad with me and uh, I got a pencil and I started to sketch out what I would like to see as a lure. And as I was doing it, I started to really get pretty in depth into it. And uh, as a matter of fact, that's how all our lures start. There's On a yellow way. sketch pad, basically. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes I'll wake up with a thought at 1, 2 in the morning, boom, and I go down and sketch out before I forget it. Right. You know? Yeah. And so um, so I sketched it out, and when I came back here, um, we have several different, uh, different businesses in this building, and uh, it's a lot of valuable resources here. And uh, I went down to talk to them uh, down at uh, like 42 Fab Design about uh, can we make a model of this because I know they make models out of it. So we put it on a 3D printer, you know, the dimensions that I had on the sketch pad. Oh, actually, they, they actually drew a drawing first. We actually drew a, a regular CAD drawing for it. Based upon your yellow sketch. Yeah, okay. my, my little yeah. yellow sketch pad is where right, it came right. from. So I wasn't sure about the line of pull. And that's how we had to get the models out of the 3D printer because we tried to line a pole directly out of the front, it wouldn't move. Out of the bottom, it wouldn't move. Once we put it on top, we started to get the action we wanted to. Right. So we wanted it more as a wake bait coming across the top so of the So there was a trial and error kind of period with the design. Oh, God. Kind of so this started in 2021, and here we are in 2023. We actually came out with it late in 2022. Okay. But all of that time had elapsed. Yeah. go through the trial and error. I mean, in and out of the canals, the Connecticut River. I had uh, I had some put together with nuts and bolts just to hold it so we had to open it up and move oh, weights yeah. around and yeah, stuff yeah. and hoping it wasn't going to leak. I mean, so right. it was a lot. You know, water sealing, gorilla tape, yeah. you know, all that stuff. Got to do what you got to do, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So we finally got it down to where we wanted it, and then we got into the CAD design itself and really put the specs where they were supposed to be. And from that design there, it went to the mold maker. And the mold maker built the actual, burned the cavities for it. Right. And uh, we had an existing mold, so we put the plates in that existing mold and ran it. And they worked. And uh, we started to get really quality pieces out of it. So we started putting them together and more trial and error. You know, right. replacement and this and that. But, it was like 70% done. We really couldn't back up from where we were at, at that point. So after we got that done, then we had to design uh, our own paint booths, our own gluing wheels. And a gluing wheel is where you lay the baits down. And uh, we are six stations on a gluing wheel. You put them in, you load the cavity, you put the adhesive on the, the top half. And, and this is all tongue and groove in here, so it won't leak. Right, right. So we laid the top half on, we clamp it, move it to the next station, do the same thing. So by the time it comes all the way around, it's ready to be painted. Right. And so we just keep it going like that. That wheel keeps going and we keep painting. So now you've designed laws in the past, but for every each individual law, you have to set up a whole new... Everything. Whole, everything is to be from scratch. Every, everything is new. To you make know, it work. Exactly. Right. So, you know, you're in the... When you're in the moment, when, you, when you're at that yellow pad and that CAD drawing stage and everything, everything's flying. You're getting pumped to see this thing in the water. Yeah. But, like, for me, once it goes in the water, it's, like, old news. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm already thinking about something else, which right, it really right. shouldn't be. You're like, thinking about something else, but this even has, this hasn't even been released to the public yet at that point. Exactly. Yeah. So this lure really, it taught me a lot because I had to put a lot of time into it. But the other thing it taught me to enjoy what you do. Of course. You know, to look at it. Because the way I look at it is 
every time I make one of these, it's like manufacturing happiness for yeah. somebody. Of course. Someone's going to catch a How fish many like, fish, like, something like this is going to produce for people in the future, you know what I'm saying? Right. How many you fish know? is your, you know, the, uh, the whippet fish or the, all those and, it's, you know, it's all memories. those are produced, you know? I'd like to create memories because when you create an old memory, a new one begins. Yeah. You know, and so that's what I like to do. And, uh, and people asked me the other day, they said, well, when are you going to retire? I said, you know, I said, I'm 69 years old. I said, but I said, I could live two more weeks, two more years, 20 more years. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I said, There's, you know, we don't have a time limit. And nothing's given in life. No, know? no, it isn't. But as long as I can breathe and walk and uh, the big guy upstairs lets me stay here. Yeah. I'm going to keep doing stuff. Well, I respect like that. And you said you come here every morning at 5, 4, 5 in the morning. Yep. Start the process, start the day. You know, the key is and to anybody that sees this video, when you wake up happy yeah and you come in here good things are going to happen yeah to you. you know you're either going to produce i don't care if you're making spaghetti it's going to be good right you know, i like spaghetti happy. so <laughs> <laughs> but i can tell you you know walking in this place uh just the the um the ambiance of it walking in this room and seeing what you got going on here and even the view outside of yeah. what you're looking at every day that river out it's there it's pretty fishy that's pretty yeah. motivational yeah, you know right. you tell me you probably tested some product in there before too yeah we yeah. We, we, we i've thrown product in the river for for many moons i put them so in you the, have the ultimate the like um test uh test the area over here you yeah. design them here oh let's go test and you walk downstairs and go fish in the river and it, test them out exactly that's pretty neat and you can hold them in the current so you like if i was building stuff let's say for the mariches in long island or for the canal where you got heavy current you know, flowing through. I can test it pretty pretty strong. And get a now, good idea. Yeah, I can a, tell by the way the water was moving. Yeah, there's five yeah. knot current. So that's the there. ultimate test area. You know, you got the ultimate um, test area right there. Yeah, which it, is the river. And, and there's 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 good fish in the Chicopee River. You know. Yeah. Which, oh yeah. There's so everything. you're not just testing for the, the heck of it. You're going out there. You might catch a fish in the meantime. You might. You just yeah. might. You know, I got some. That's new, the ultimate new test. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. I got some new things up on the horizon, but this lure. After all these years, I've been in this over 45 years now. This one here changed me, and it, it taught me to enjoy everything you do. Now let's check out how these lures are made. The, actually, it's, it's, it's pretty cool because you can take a handful of pellets, right. the plastic solid, it's put into a hopper, and it turns into uh, the two halves of the, of the uh, gaster, almost when it goes through the machine and cycles through. Uh, as you see it, and then it's washed off and holds up and everything. Then it comes down the line and it goes to Destiny where she gets it onto the wheel. And uh, as you can see the wheel, as it's spinning, it's, it's numbered. And by the time she gets that wheel to make a complete rotation, all the components, everything are dry. You can actually take number one out and start to paint it. After Destiny finishes the gluing process, she brings the lures to the spray booth where her talented steady hands will apply multiple layers of paint. After drying, the eyes and hooks are attached, then packaged and shipped out for you to fish. Well, we got the tour from A to Z, how the lures were designed, where they were designed, where they were assembled, where everything is done, from the pellets that the lures start as to the finished product. So even we're at the river here where they're uh, field tested as well. Exactly. And sometimes you catch a smallmouth on them too while field testing. Yep. Oh, this is a really cool setup you have here in a historical location. Your other location is great too. And the best thing of all is from start to the finish, this is made in the USA all the way. by hand, each and every piece. And all great people that work for you too and put you together, very talented people as well. And the man himself, the designer of the Gagster, uh, great lore. And when you guys should check it out when you get uh, your hands on it. Check it out. Out gags, guys. Thanks, Good man. to see you, man.